This is your KDKA-TV News Brief. I'm Rick Dayton from KDKA-TV News. These are your news headlines for Thursday, August 9th. A lot of progress being made since yesterday morning as they clean up debris from the train derailment near Station Square. The Smithfield Street Bridge did reopen to all vehicular traffic. West Carson Street also opened once again. However, East Carson still staying closed this morning between the Smithfield Street Bridge and Arlington Avenue. There still is no timetable for when T-service is going to be restored there. You can see why. Tracks still a big mess down below. Court challenge is delaying the release of a grand jury report on clergy sex abuse in the Catholic Diocese in Pennsylvania. That report is expected to identify hundreds of clergy members accused of sexual assault over the past 70 years. More than 90 names on that list are from the Pittsburgh Diocese. Diocese of Greensburg, Greensburg excuse me, will also be covered in the report. Back to school shopping season is here. The National Retail Federation predicting this year is going to be one of the biggest on record. Total spending, kindergarten through 12, also college included, expected to reach nearly $83 billion this year. It says families can expect to spend about $680 on back to school, covering all the bases, clothing, shoes, electronics, supplies, notebooks, pens, pencils, backpacks, all of that factored into the $83 billion number. New details emerging about Disney's challenge to Netflix. Disney says its streaming service will be available by the end of next year, and it could cost less than Netflix. It also is starting Captain Marvel, which will be in theaters in March, and Disney's new movies will also have their service and not on Netflix. New app is helping people maintain their lawns. Green Pal allows you to list your lawn, what type of care it needs, and when it needs it. Then lawn care pros can bid on the jobs based on Google Street and aerial images. Homeowners can then select why they want to hire a particular job based on ratings and pricing and more. All payment handled through the app, too. It launches, by the way, later this week for iPhone and for Android. Let's get a check of what's going on with the forecast now from meteorologist Ron Smiley. Ron? Well, that small chance of rain sticking around the next couple of days. We're looking at a high today, about 83 degrees. Once again, yeah, passing shower will be possible. Looks like the best chance for that today is going to be between 2 and about 5 o'clock. We'll clear out with our skies after that. Should be actually a pretty nice night as we're heading into the evening hours. 91, the expected high in Charlotte today, so there's plenty of heat down to the southwest. Check out Houston, 93, the expected high there. No surprise, it is the middle of summer. Oh, by the way, there's your seven-day outlook. 83 today, 80, your Friday high. We cooled down just a little bit over the weekend. The rain chances, yeah, they stick around. Quick programming note to pass along. The Steelers playing their first preseason game tonight in Philadelphia against the Super Bowl champion Eagles. You can watch for coverage, including kickoff, 7 o'clock on KDKA. Latest news, weather, and sports. Be sure you watch the KDKA TV news or visit KDKA.com where we're always on. Don't forget, please like and follow us on Facebook and on Twitter, too. I'm Rick Dayton. Hope you have a great day.